In this example, we will be evaluating the square root of 14. To do this, we want to look at perfect squares nearby to 14. 3 squared is equal to 9, while 4 squared is equal to 16. We can see that 14 fits between 16 and 9, but it's a little bit closer to 16. Because 14 is between 9 and 16, we can write the following inequality. 9 is less than 14, which is less than 16. Now we can take the square root of all these values to get the square root of 9 is less than the square root of 14, which is less than the square root of 16. We can rewrite the square root of 9 as 3, and then we can rewrite the square root of 16 as 4. Now we can see that the square root of 14 lies between 3 and 4. Now we know that 14 is closer to 16, so we can try out values between 3 and 4 that are closer to 4 in order to find a number that multiplies by itself to get 14. Let's try 3.7 times 3.7, which is 3.7 squared, and see how close we can get to 14. 7 times 7 is 49, carry the 4. 3 times 7 is 21, plus 4 is 25, add our 0. 3 times 7 is 21, carry the 2, and then 3 times 3 is 9, plus 2 is 11. When we add these values together, we get 13.69, which is very close to 14. So we can say that 3.7 squared gives us approximately 14. Now if we take the square root of both of these values, we get 3.7 is approximately the square root of 14. So this will be our tenths place approximation for the square root of 14.